Hey YouTube world, it's me Evelyn. Here's another embarrassingly simple hair tutorial. But first, I'll show you how I preserve my hair at night to keep the blowout looking smooth. I use twist scissors. So you're going to take a section of hair, as you can see, and you're going to add this time an oil, pomade, butter, anything without water in it for some added shine. And you're going to smooth that on to your naps. And then you're just going to two strand twist the length of your hair, like so. Alright, and my battery is about to die in five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> All fixed. Two strand twisting my hair is just another great way to keep my blowout looking smooth and shiny throughout the week. I don't know why I always feel like a gangster when I have these long twists or braids, but just let the ratchet just 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 let it flow. Don't try and hold back. Just just wild out. Give yourself the time necessary. And when you're done, put on your satin bonnet, silk scarf, or go to bed on a silk pillowcase and go to bed. Good night. The next morning, once you're done listening to Rihanna, you're gonna take off your satin bonnet silk scarf and see that your hair is soft, smooth, and shiny. You're gonna take down each twist as you continue dancing to Rihanna. And then you are going to just keep doing that in fashion like such as Mm -hmm. And now you're going to divide each twist until it's fluffy and not chunky like that. Both sides. Scratch your scalp, girl, let it rock. Take your headband, double it over, double, triple, whatever you want, and you're going to bring all your hair to the top of your head, using your fingers kind of like a comb to make sure there are no parts in your head, you can't see the scalp anywhere. Um, just bring all the hair up to the top of your head. Back view, and it should look something like that. Okay, and you're gonna take that hair tie and you're gonna tie your hair, all right? As many times as you feel necessary. Obviously, I don't have that much hair, so it doesn't take as much. Use your discretion. Divide your hair into two sections and loosely twist. Then you're gonna take the tip of that twist and wrap it around the rest of your hair to form a little bolly ball. Then you're gonna pin that hole down with a bobby pin or two depending on your hair thickness. And that's it. This is an improvised top knot sumo wrestler bun fit for being an extra in an episode of Gossip Girl. If you want to do the ancestors proud, get a piece of African fabric and put over your head like this one. Then you're going to bring it over to the front of your head and tie it in a knot one time, uh -huh. two times, uh -huh. and then you are going to tie it a third time, my sister. And you are going to tuck the sides into the sides, as you can see, and then push it back just a little bit. I just changed accents on y'all, my bad. And now you're ready to become Black Girl Tumblr Famous. Don't forget to shake your bonbon -bon for the ancestors. You owe them. Another option is using a bandana. You're going to fold it into a triangle, bring the tip of the triangle to the longest base of the triangle, and you are going to fold that in half. You'll figure it out. It should look like that in the end. And then you're going to put it on the back of your head and bring the tip to the front. And you're gonna cock it to the side a little bit. You don't want it in the center. You want it either there or there. Yeah, girl. And you're going to tie a knot in the bandana. That's knot number one. And you're gonna do it a second time to make knot number two. You can either tuck the Tupac flaps in or you can leave them out. I left them out, obviously, because I want to be fly. Um, women's rights or something. Tia and Tamara Maori wholesome booty pop. And uh, that's it for the tutorial, guys. See you on the internet somewhere. Bye.